Do you remember a few months ago, we made the oldest mead recipe known to mankind? One of our commenters mentioned that we didn't really follow the recipe. We really didn't, though. But he didn't take one thing into account. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Okay, so the Forever Ago Mead is finally ready. It's been sitting in that hot sun window for since that video came out. How's that been? I wonder if this is going to be a trend. We start throwing everything in the window. I don't know. That worked out pretty it's, good. It worked out pretty good last time. It smooths it out like it did last time. Do you know how hot that is? Do you think it fermented being that hot? Yeah, well, did it stay like, oh, well, I guess it, yeah. Well, it fermented because it got all the hallmarks of fermentation. Did it ferment a lot though? This was fermented in direct sunlight. Here is a link for the original video where we made this. Is it, where is it? Somebody It's, 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 it's up somewhere there, somewhere. Or it's somewhere up there is a link for when we made this video. And now we're gonna rack it, taste it, and hey, but that's be, it really. Before we do this, put in the comments what you think of how it's gonna turn out. Here's a quick word from this episode sponsor. Do you have an uncle, a cousin, or a friend that drinks too much? Are you concerned about their health, their safety, or their well-being? Introducing the Drink Blocker 2000. Simply put it on your cup and blam, no more drinking. But wait, there's more! If you order now, we'll also introduce the Finger Wacker 3000! Let's do this. Let's get get our stuff out. I got a little bucket to elevate this one. Nice and slow. Whenever you move these, you want to be as easy and careful with it as possible. All that crap on the bottom, you don't want to suck that up into your other carboy, your secondary. So nice and easy does it. Ah, no, come on. Too much air. Actually, that, that's good, that's good. That's too much air now. That last little bit's for drinking. Mm. It doesn't smell good. Mm. I just smell bad. That smells really bad. It smells like dirty socks. It smells like... I don't know what it smells like. It smells... I smell... I don't think it's worked out. I don't think it worked either. Did the sun do something to it? I'm scared to taste it. It, it. it smells like that. We've had stuff that smells really bad though and tasted really good. Remember that meat we made out of uh, beef broth? Oh my God, please no. <laughs> it smells like that, All right. it? So just to let you guys know, that was by far the worst tasting thing out <laughs> of the entire video. Beef was broth a, meat. I don't know, the pickled milk one was pretty bad. And the milk was bad. The milk was pretty bad, but the bean broth was by far the worst. Drink it. <laughs> I think we almost uncontrollably lost it on the bean broth. We, I think we took bigger swigs because we didn't think it was going to be that bad. Yeah, and it was bad. It, <laughs> it was, was that bad. bad. <laughs> Don't make beef broth. Beef. <laughs> Don't. All right. Yeah. Did you taste it? No. You're waiting on I'm me? Waiting for you. <laughs> okay. I'm the guinea pig. You're the guinea pig. What if it's the most amazing meat ever and I'm the first one to get We got a 50 50 <laughs> shot right now. <laughs> I don't like those odds. Yeah. All right, here we go. Well. Mm. 
It must not be horrible. This tech is going in for number two. Wow. Mm. I believe that's the first time I've ever experienced a beverage that smells horrific, but tastes lovely. That's really good. There's a titch. Mm. It's got the same, it's it's perfectly sweet. It didn't ferment all the way. Actually, do yeah, don't add any more sweetness to it at all. It's a perfect level of sweetness. And it has but that we same. Used a, we, remember, we used a crap ton of honey. It, in was, all, it was always we, half honey, half water. <laughs> but remember, we didn't even use all the honey it was calling for. It's, and, and it's got that mellow feel. And I the, think the, that hides from the, the sun. sun. Yeah, the last one, last sun experiment we did had not. We, uh, we put a mead in the fridge once and direct sunlight in the fridge. In the window once. I have a sun window. It's for plants and gardening, stuff like that. No, it's for me. It, it's for me for us. <laughs> and we had a, we put a mead in there, indirect sunlight. It was supposed to be there for a month. It was there for like eight months. Something like that. I don't know. Look at this video that we'll Oh yeah, we'll put like that video too. You should watch that video. It's a good one. But that mead, it is unbelievable. How, how smooth and metal yeah, that meat mill it out. And this is the same way. It's like... So maybe we should put all of them in the sun. I want to start doing more But it has to be a controlled environment where you can control the temperature. Probably a little better. I don't know. Do you think this stopped fermenting? And that's why it's got a sweetness still in it? Yeah, it didn't ferment all the It way. didn't ferment all the But it worked out perfect this time. And it's it's hot. Yeah. It's a... Uh, but is it controllable? Like, are we going to be able to reproduce that every single time or something? Right that's what I'm saying. You wouldn't be able to reproduce it every single time. It probably tastes different when it's chilled too. It's hot right now, like the uh, not spicy, like the temperature of hot. It's been in the sun for a month or two. That oh, was, that's actually really good. Man, that's really good. I like that. That is really good meat. I could totally like just drink that whole thing right now. Absolutely. And now that I've tasted it, it doesn't really smell. I, I can I can identify that smell now, so it doesn't smell. It did. It did smell bad at the very beginning. It was a little too. It's. Too, it, it's yeah, it's got a bad, bad smell to it. But as soon as you like identify that smell, it's not. Yeah. It's still bad, but it's not like gross anymore. I don't know. I can't smell it anymore. Now. I took like four swigs. Can you even smell it anymore? It's barely. I can't really smell it. Thank you for watching this awesome video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. subscribe. And comment. Tell us what you think. Tell us how dumb we are. Tell us how awesome we are. Tell me how unbelievably, irresistibly beautiful that I am. And if you want to talk directly to us, add a directly to you did it. And if you want to try that one again. <laughs> if you want to talk directly to us, try our Discord. We have a pretty active Discord. Yeah, we do. We have a very active Discord. And we're there. Well, I'm here more than him. He's always busy doing real life stuff. Totally, <laughs> totally disrespectful. I come, I, I come in every once in a while. <laughs> but thank you for watching.